So, uh, I before I go to next program, I want to show you something with the previous program itself. Uh, this is the previous program. Now, see this is the program which I had written just a while back. Now, I had explained to you how this program is running. Like I had explained to you that sum is initialized to 1, i is equal to 1. Now, while i is less than equal to n is true because i is 1, n is uh, maybe 5, user has entered 5. So, it is true. So, it enters this, lo uh, this loop, sum is sum plus i, i is i plus 1, goes back to while, then again compares, again true, again enters, again uh, goes back, again compares like this. Now, if you want to really watch the program getting executed step by step, on actuals you want to see, practically you want to see that the program is executing line by line, then there is a way out. What is the way out? Have a look into the run menu. In the run menu, if you go to this menu, you find that there is an option called trace into. What is this trace into? This trace into will trace uh, every line being executed one by one. Check out what? If I press enter on this stress into, it shows that the first line being executed is main. You again run stress into, that is you tell go to the next line. It goes to the next line, clear screen. You again press alt r trace into some i and n getting declared is not an execution, it has got declared. The next line which got executed is, which is getting executed is, enter the last number n up to which you want to add. This entire line is getting printed on the screen. You again go to trace into the next line. It is wanting to, this line will be wanting to scan. So, see again if I say trace this line. That is go to the next line, execute this line, go to the next line. What happens? It wants to scan because scanf is running in this line. It wants to scan the line. Say the number I want to add, enter the last number and up to which you want to add, I enter 5. I enter this 5. So, see this n definitely has scanned 5 in this line, previous line n has scanned this 5, now it is in this line sum equal to 0. I tell go to the next line that is stress into, that is sum has got initialized to 0. How do you know it? How do you know that sum has got initialized to 0 in this line? And the line previous to that n was initialized to the 5, there is a way out for that. Do you have a look at the debug menu? Just after run is compiled, just after that is debug, there is a debug menu. You go to that, Alt D. See, there is an option called watches. You can watch the different values of the variables. So, watch the variable, enter, add watch, enter. You say, I want to watch the value of n. Okay. If 5 to bring that watch screen. If it is already coming this screen, watch screen, no problems. But see, on the watch screen you can see the value of n is 5. Have a look into the watch screen but at the below. Once you add the watch screen, this watch screen should come automatically. If it does not come, press F5. So, this watch menu has, watch screen has come. This watch screen is showing that the value of n is 5. If I also want to watch the value of sum, sum should be 0 because in the last line sum was initialized to 0. So, let me again introduce another watch on the sum variable alt d, the debug menu. See watches, add another watch. What is the watch you want to see? What, what is the variable you want to watch? Sum. See, have a look at the watch screen. Sum is 0. The watch screen shows n is 5, sum is 0. Let me run the next line, alt r, trace into. In the last line, i has been initialized to 1. The last line that got executed, 
i was initialized to 1 introduce another watch alt d watches add watch i you add this i see i has got introduced to 1 see in the watch screen now n is 5 sum is 0 i is 1 n 5 has been introduced has been inputted by the user you only inputted it on the screen as a user sum is 0 i is 1 as initialized now is the while screen while low, while uh, statement in this while statement i less than equal to n is being checked you see in the watch screen i is 1 n is 5 1 less than equal to 5 should be true i repeat look at the watch screen i is initialized to 1 n is initialized to 5 or not initialized n is inputted as 5 by the user so 1 less than equal to 5 is true this loop should should execute 5 times 1 for i equal to 1 for i equal to 2 i equal to 3 every time this i 1 2 3 or 4 or 5 should be added to the sum so first time it should enter the loop so let me run the program let me go to the next line alt r trace i am tracing and going to the next line see whether it enters the while loop or it goes out of the while loop it should enter 1 less than equal to 5 is true let it enter yes it enters now sum is equal to sum plus i in the last line no changes n still is 5 sum still is 0 i still is 1 now this line sum equal to sum plus i sum is initialized to 0 i is initialized to 1 so this one i is this one check out as i told you i is this one this one should get added to the sum sum from 0 should become this 1 in this case. So, if I go to the next line, this line will be executed and execution of this line will add the 1 i1 one, to sum. So, immediately when I go to the next line, sum should become 1, sum should become this 1. So, let us run alt r press into go to the next line. When once I press this press into have a look into the watch screen. In the watch screen, sum should immediately become 1, this 1 getting added to sum, trace in 2. Have a look into the watch screen, yes, sum has become 1. i is still 1. If I go to the next line, should not i become 2 because I am adding 1 to i and putting it to i again. So, i should become 2. So, let me go to the next line, alt r, trace in 2. I go to the next line. What is the next line? It should go to the start of the while loop. See, it should, it will go to the start of while loop and have a look at the watch screen. Once I press this, i will become 2. I press this. See, i has become 2. i is equal to i plus 1. i has become 2. Sum is still this 1. Sum is still this 1. i has become 2. This 2. So, this 2 will get added to the sum in the next, when, when it enters the loop again. So, should it enter the loop again? Yes, because i, have a look at the watch screen i is 2, n is 5, 2 less than equal to 5 is true, it should enter the loop 5 times to add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2 less than equal to 5 is true, it should enter the loop again, alt r, trace in 2, sum equal to sum plus i should be executed now, it enters the loop, it enters the loop because 2 less than equal to 5 is true, now see sum is this one, have a look at the watch screen, sum is 1 which one this one next what should happen this 2 should get added to it so let me go to the next line alt r trace in 2 once i press this trace in 2 sum should become 1 plus 2 that is 3 see, see i press trace in 2 have a look into the watch screen sum becomes 3 i is still 2 when it goes to the next time in the loop i should go with the next value 3 the execution of this line should make i 3 alt r trace in 2, have a look into the watch screen, i will become 3, i becomes 3. Now, i is 3, n is still 5, i do not change n. So, 3 less than equal to 5 is true again, 3 less than equal to 5 is true again, should it enter the loop? Yes, it should enter the loop, loop. alt r, trace in 2, see it will enter the loop, yes it enters. Now, sum is 3, why is sum 3? Sum is this 1 plus 2, 3. And what is i? i is this 3. Which 3 should get added? 
to this sum 1 plus 2 and become sum should become 6. So once I run this line, sum should become 6, 3 plus 3, alter, trace in 2, enter, have a look into the watch screen, sum should become 6, sum becomes 6, i is 3. When it goes to the loop next time, I will go with a value of 4 with this line being executed. So again I execute, trace in 2, once I press, i should become 4, see i becomes 4. Now 4 less than equal to 6, i is 4, see this line will be executed, this condition will be executed, i is 4, n is 6, 4 less than equal to 6 is, uh, 4 less than equal to 5 is true, n is 5. So i less than equal to n, 4 less than equal to 5 is true, it should enter the loop again. Alter, press into, yes it enters the loop. Sum equal to sum plus i, what is sum? Sum is 6, why is sum 6? Because sum till now has become this 1 plus 2 plus 3 and i is 4, which 4? i is this 4. So this 4 should now be added to sum. So I write, write alter, trace into, see sum has become 10, i is still 4, now execution of this line should make i 5. So trace into again, have a look into the watch screen, i will become 5 now, i becomes 5. But see still, 5 less than equal to 5 is true, it should enter the, enter the loop also with the value of i equal to 5 because 5 should be entered to sum. Now sum is 10, i is 5, so sum should become 10 plus 5, 15, is not it so? So I run alter, trace into, sum equal to sum plus i, it enters the loop. Now if I run this again, sum will become 15, why should sum become 15? 1 plus 2, sum is this one, sum is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, 10 and i is this 5. Now sum equal to sum plus y, i will be executed, sum will become 15, check out. Sum becomes 15, i is still 5. Let us run this again, i should become 6 now. i becomes 6, now the condition checking. See, if I check the condition, i less than equal to n, 6 less than equal to 5, i is 6, n is 5, look at the watch screen, i is 6, n is 5, 6 less than equal to 5, true or false, definitely false, should it enter the loop, no it should not enter the loop, let me run this again, see where it goes, once I press it should not enter the while loop because the condition is false, I repeat again, have a look into the watch screen, i is 6, n is 5, 6 less than equal to 5, not true, false, it should not enter the while loop, it should go out of the while loop, so I run this, Press in to see it goes out of the while loop. It goes to printf. The sum is 15, exactly what you want. And n is 5. So what should it print? The sum of 1 to 5 is 15. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 is 15. So let me run that, go to the next line. The printf has been done. Get ch, let me go to the next line. See, it has ended the program and I have come to the screen where it shows sum of 1 to 5 is 15. This is exactly what you wanted. So it is done. I end the program with the next line. So now this program has been executed and I have shown you how actually a program gets executed. F5 again to remove the watch screen. I pressed F5 and got rid of the watch screen. The program is as it is. The program is like this. And it has executed and I have shown you how this program is executed. Now definitely I will go to the next program, I keep on continuing. You can take a break, you can pause this video and take a bit of break if you want to.